Good morning, Sazam. We're thinking about bravery. And uh, in a song, which I think you're learning, there are various people from the Bible. And one of the people who shows bravery is Moses. And I've been thinking about this. And I've had to think about why I think Moses is particularly brave. And in this talk, I'm going to tell you. But first, I'm going to ask you to think about something completely different. I want you to think about, and, and in a moment I might ask the, the, the teacher to pause the video. I want you to think about two things. What is it that you're at school you're naturally good at? And what is it at school that you're not naturally good at? So can you think of one thing you're naturally good at and one thing you're not good at? So if you want to pause the video, talk with a partner for a minute or so, and after you've had a minute talking to your partner, then um, the teacher can restart the video. Okay. So hopefully you're thinking of one thing you're good at and one thing you're not very good at. We're going to come back to that. Now we're going to go back into the story of Moses. Moses meets God on a mountainside. This is in the Old Testament. And it's quite early on in the Old Testament when the Israelites are living in Egypt, but they're being oppressed by the Egyptians. But Moses himself is an Israelite. And God says to Moses, I need you to lead your people, the Israelites, out of Egypt, and I'll give you, a, I'll lead you into a, a new land, a beautiful land. And, and so they have a conversation. And this is a big thing, but I haven't got to the thing which I think makes Moses really brave yet. This is what I think makes him brave. When God says, I want you to persuade Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, to let your people go, it's not something that Moses is good at. He tells God, he says, look, I'm, I'm not good with my words. I'm not very eloquent. I can't speak well. Um, how can you be asking me to do this? And then God says, no, 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 really, you need to do this. And Moses a second time says, uh, no, can't, can't you find somebody else? You know, you'd be better at this than I am. And God says, I want you to do it. So the first two times, Moses isn't brave at all because he's not very good at it, so he tries to get out of it. But the third time he agrees. And by agreeing, I think that's what make his, makes him brave. I want to go back to uh, the answers you came up with with your friends and just think about that. What are the things you find easy and the things you find difficult? And I think when you find something difficult at first, to keep trying takes bravery. To keep trying takes bravery. Because you're much more likely to get it wrong the first few times you do it. And it's not so fun to do it. But in the long run, that's what really can make the difference. So in this case, I'm not thinking about bravery like fighting dragons or fighting big armies or being brave in that way. Though that is part of it. What I think is brave is when people do things that they don't find easy and try and do them anyway. Some people call it going outside your comfort zone because that's what I think Moses does. He's asked to do something that he's not naturally good at but he still does it anyway. And in the end, by the way, he is successful though it's a very difficult journey that takes him there. I want you to think about today something that you're not good at and whether you're going to be brave enough to try to still work in that area and get better at it. It could be anything. It could be trying out food that you don't necessarily like the taste of at first. That can take bravery. It could be trying out a sport that you haven't done before in PE. That could be brave. It could be trying to speak out a French word when you've never spoken any French. That can take bravery. I don't know what it will be for you, but all of us have got things that we don't do naturally. But sometimes the brave thing is to go out and risk it. We might fall flat on our face the first time, but in the end that's how we learn. And that takes bravery, and that's something Moses had. I'll finish with a short prayer. Lord God, we all have things that we are afraid of. Help us to try things even when we're not good at them. Give us the bravery and may we learn. Amen. Have a good day.